Hey guys, I'm Sebastian in Performance Play Sports here in Costa Mesa, California. Uh, I'm doing this video today to help you through a little bit of understanding with shoulder blade pain. We've done some videos that have become very popular on shoulder blade and I wish we would have done them a little bit better. They're still very good videos. You might have come from that video watching it, but this is a little bit of an um, opportunity to dissect it down because a lot of you did have questions about, well that worked and that didn't and what do I do now and so on. And so I'll get a little bit more nitty gritty here. So the first thing we're talking about shoulder blade, I'll just show you the region we're talking about. It's right around where I can't put my sunblock, so it's even down more. It can even kind of get into this area. It feels deep to the shoulder blade oftentimes, but it can feel just next to it, kind of in the middle of the spine. And sometimes the upper trap is tight, not always. Sometimes the shoulder is painful, not always. Sometimes the hand is numb, not always. Sometimes the shoulder blade, or sometimes the, uh, the neck is tight, not always. And I say not always with this because many of you in the comments have said, well, my shoulder blade hurts, but this does too. Then is this something that will work? Sure, maybe. The thing is everyone has different presentations, all right? We'd love to say this is, uh, that everybody's exactly the same, but everyone's not. And for that reason, sometimes the remedies are a little different too. This is a representation of the nerve. Um, it comes from the neck and the major one that has the shoulder blade um, involved is right around there. Okay, it doesn't go all the way down, but it goes a long ways down. Um, and this is called the dorsal scapular nerve. It is part of the mid-neck nerves that come out. I'll grab a spine model just so you can see what I'm, what I'm talking about. Sorry, no cameraman today. And so this, I think it's yellow. I'm colorblind. That's orange. This is the cervical spine region, and we have all these little nerves that come out of there, and they create mixed nerves. They create nerves that have uh, nerves that have multiple levels in them, and some of them go down the spine in the back. Some of them go outward in the shoulder, and in fact, the the neck nerves will create uh, electrical impulses and the ability to move your arm in the in the entire extremity, the hand, the wrist, the forearm, and so on. Um, so. Uh, you can also have nerves that they go into other areas. And so there's, an, right, uh, there's a spot right here that you can look up. It's called Herb's Point. Um, you can Google that one. I won't have a picture. And it is where nerves come out like a spider web. One goes up into here. One goes back down to where the shoulder blade is. One of them goes out into the shoulder here. And one of them goes back down to the pec. And so you mentioned maybe I have this and that and that. Yeah. The thing is that when you have a single level here, let's just say we have like this one, really any nerve that this thing, any mixed nerve that this thing becomes a part of um, can become partially symptomatic. So it might create one area of really intense pain and another area of partially intense pain. So kind of part way. And a lot of times it's people's secondary complaint. So the video that you might have come from mentioned these things, okay? Double, trend, double chins, we say. I'll just do it for the sake of the people who have been, this is the first time uh, watching this. And so we have a double chin, and a triple chin, and a triple chin, and you do 10 of them. I'll do them with you, okay? We're not looking for this. We're not looking for this. We're looking for straight back. 10 chin tucks. And then you move your arm and shoulder and neck and see how it feels. And if it feels halfway better, then great, that's, you're on the right track. Um, other times people need a different first aid. And that is, again, this is part one of four, uh, basically four parts of recovery for this. I cannot stress this enough. If you only did a first aid, this probably will come back. Because basically the reason why you probably got it, probably, if not trauma, is it is because of some of your habits. Is it posture? Could be a lot of things. It could be the way you lift. It could be the way you sleep. It could be the your seated posture. It could be the amount of time that you sit, sleep, and lift. Um, it could be, uh, you could be strong as an ox and still have this. You can be someone who sits all day and still have this. Again, people have different reasons for it to become a problem, but the basic moral of the story is, is you are a sum of your past habits. And so sometimes we need to first aid it, chill or chill it all down, and then we have to build it back up or change partially the habits or at least change the frequency you're doing it. So something drove this to be a problem. And so this is, again, step one, chilling it down is first aid. It's fine, but it won't stop you from getting cut. 
And so the second first aid is, um, it's a sniff check. So we go down and we basically sniff. I'll do this side because I'm gonna eat the microphone if I go that way. Say if I had a problem on this side with all that stuff, we just have people just go down and just look. We're not looking for an intense stretch, we're just telling them to look. And just hold that, just, just hold that for me. Um, this should feel comfortable. If it doesn't, put your arm on top of your head. Or just kind of grab it like it's in a sling. I'll, I'll bring my camera down so you can peek. Just kind of grab it like that, the affected side. And you just hang out and sniff. While you're doing that, I'll grab the model again. I'll grab a different model. And so we have people usually spend about a minute doing this. If you're having trouble tracking me and listening while you're doing it, just, just pause the video. Okay. So what we're looking at here is we're looking at whole mechanics. All right. And a lot of you will probably think, well, my x-ray was negative. My MRI is negative. Um, I did an ultrasound. Um, people found, said I found trigger points in there, but I, I can't confirm them. I don't know what to do. First off, I'll let you know that most people don't need to get an image to really do any, to do the right care. Um, usually the right care will confirm the working diagnosis. And so um, an example would be if, if these worked for you, the, the double chins, then that's perfect. Who really cares? You know, if, it, if it's not life threatening and this makes you feel better, then we just, like we can have, obviously we have a working diagnosis if we're, if we're working with you, but if it reduces pain, like a lot of times reducing pain and, and kind of using pain as, as an asset to us to figure out what to do, um, you'll get better sooner than you ever thought possible. You won't waste all the time getting an MRI or an x-ray if you don't need it. Um, and it'll, it'll, it'll spend less, you'll spend less money because you got to pay for those things. So why don't you just pay for good care that works? So the, the reason why the lean away is if you look at this hole right here, uh, there, this, is, this is called a foramen. I'll turn it sideways. Uh, this hole right there is called a foramen. And so we're just opening that hole because the nerve goes through it, all right? And so if you open the hole, it gives the nerve room to breathe. And so looking this way, it's just a very raw way uh, of, of opening the hole. Um, and so if it lets the nerve breathe, then it makes it feel better. And a lot of times the symptoms down the arm will just, just stop. Now, will it come back after you stop doing this? Maybe. And I make no promises to anybody that who come, comes into our office about uh, what their responsibilities are. I say, look, anything that we do today will not necessarily make a long-term change. Only you can make the long-term change. Usually when we have first aid, we have people do it for three, four days, just spend a bit of time throughout the day doing it, hold the position or go through the reps. And then we advance them on to the next thing, some corrective exercise for the shoulder blade and the mid back. Um, the, basically the shoulder blade to the neck is the hip to the low back. So there, it's an intimate relationship there. You have to get into that in most cases to make people feel better. The, uh, the next part is building some load into the shoulder girdle, building some strength. And a lot of times people are afraid to do that. So if you need help through this, just, just say something. We're here, we're in Costa Mesa. We also have online guides. We have video guides, which um, they're, they're there. They're there right now if you want them. Um, also, we do online consults too, so there's no reason, no matter where you're at, to not reach out to us. Uh, we'd love to help you out through things. But just know that if you watch that video and it worked for you, there is another step. Um, there certainly is another step. And so go to the description below, I'll scroll all the way down if you're on your phone. It's way down past all the suggested videos. Um, and there's some links there that will take you through the things that um, I mentioned. Um, probably a good starting point if a lot of you are not... Um, I know a lot of people say, oh, I don't have the money, I'm not really sure, or they're not really sure what to do next. Um, we made a whole audio on shoulder blade pain and the mistakes that people make. Uh, I think that's probably the next step that you should take if you're really concerned about cost because a lot of times people just do the wrong thing because they, they, they believe it's gonna work for them. Uh, and so that audio is free. It'll take you through a lot of the different problems that people do and hopefully at the other end, um, you get a better understanding of maybe why your condition is, is continuing. So. Uh, again, if you're looking for videos that are free, just go on to the channel, there's a search bar, subscribe, use the search bar, and check out anything you want. We do these videos very frequently, and there's more videos on there than you ever thought for different areas of the body. Talk to you guys soon. See you in person.